G'day guys, it's Tim Guest here. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. It's uh, Tuesday and um, and uh, we normally do a Facebook Live on a Monday, but didn't get a chance to do one yesterday. And the, the reason why I wanted to get on the Facebook Live today was to share with you um, the, the best advice that I've ever been given about money. But before I do that, just a couple of logistics things that I want to handle. Firstly, I just wanted to say uh, and really just express my gratitude. We've, we've been getting like huge audiences on our Facebook Live uh, videos lately so we're really glad that um, the people are, are getting great value out of watching the videos and we just really appreciate all the people that are sharing them and commenting and liking um, you know it, it makes a difference for me personally to, to see that it's it's um, providing value for people out there um, also in terms of the video that we're doing today I'm asking you like what's the best piece of money advice that you've ever been given so if there's something that uh, you've been told or someone that's passed on to you that you think it'd be valuable please comment on the post below below and of course as normal if um, you know you're seeing stuff uh, today hey Ben uh, good to see you on the Facebook live mate um, if you're seeing stuff on the uh, the Facebook live video today uh, you know please if you like it look, click the like if you love it click love uh, and if uh, you don't like what I'm saying also click angry as we're going through so we can uh, get people's feedback on uh, as we bring out the conversation but like I said the reason why I want to do the Facebook live today was I wanted to be able to share with you guys uh, the best money advice that I'd ever been given um, and this was I think I was around about 18 at the time and I was reading a book uh, called The Richest Man in Babylon I know it's a pretty famous book it's actually quite a quite a short book so it's an easy read um, but the, the thing that really stood out for me was this um, there was a piece of advice in that book and um, and it was, you know, it might seem right, uh, quite simple when you when you first think of it. But the the advice was this: if you want to be wealthy, there's only two ways to get wealthy. It's either spend less than you earn or make more than you spend. Now I know it seems simple and obvious, and I think for many years that that's how I kind of you know I read it and kind of brushed it off. But you know, one of the things I love, particularly about some of these incredibly simple sayings, is that there's worlds of complexity which exist. Uh, underneath some of the most simplest quotes and some of the most simplest statements and if you really take a moment to kind of unfold some of these things there's uh, like incredible wisdom that comes from so me you know if I, if I looked at that particular statement um, you know if you, if you want to be wealthy there's only two ways and the two ways are either spend less than you earn or make more than you spend now spending less than you earn I mean you've got to keep in mind I was 18 at the time I had my first job I'd into the workforce you know the pay wasn't exactly that great you know, I had things like, um, you know, rent that I had to pay. Uh, you know, I think I had a car loan at the time. I'm sure I had a credit card as well. Um, you know, and the money that I was earning was, I mean, it was only, I mean, I was pretty much leaving week to week. And, and that, that's a simple fact for 50% of working Australians. I mean, 50% of uh, people in Australia spend every cent that they earn. So the, the whole concept of being able to spend less than I earn, I mean, man, that wasn't what I wanted. And that certainly wasn't a picture of wealth. And it certainly wasn't going to give me the kind of life. That I wanted to live. I mean, that would mean sacrificing more and going with it with less than what I currently had, and what I currently had certainly wasn't um, satisfactory at all. So I then kind of looked at the other side of thing. Well, okay, you know, if the, the one option is spend less than you earn, the other option is make more than you spend. Well, you know, firstly, it got me thinking about well, what what is the kind of life like? What what would I be spending to live a satisfied life? What would I be spending to live the kind of life that I wanted to live and certainly the kind of life that I, I deserved? You know, and I started to then, uh, you know, make a picture or paint a picture about, you know, what would be the kind of house that I'd want to live in? What would be the kind of car that I'd want to drive? You know, if, if there I was living the life that I wanted to live, how often would I be traveling every year? What are the kind of places that I'd go? You know, what are the kind of places? And, and look, for some people, maybe they have really opulent pictures. Personally, for me, you know, I want nice things, I want good things, I want to be able to live a good life and I want to be able to experience life, but I don't think it's over the top and I certainly don't think it's too materialistic either. Um, you know, because another big part for me is what about, what's the kind of difference that I want to make? What the charities and causes that I'm passionate about, what sort of contribution do I want to be able to make to them? Um, you know, so it got me thinking about, all right, well, I've got to earn more than I spend. Well, firstly, to figure out what that would be, I'd have to earn out work out what it is that I'm spending so that was the first part like sitting down looking at look through all those areas and this is something that people can do themselves you know look at uh, your house look at your car look at travel look at the kind of lifestyle that you want to live look at um, the hobbies and interests that you want to pursue and look at the kind of difference that you want to make and kind of work out what you would need to be earning every single year to be able to have life look the way that it looked so once I was able to sit down and get to that figure that was great you know and for me uh, you know, I think it worked out to be a couple of hundred grand if I, if I look back and I'm only going off memory, of course. 
But um, a couple hundred grand, all right, well, you know, what's the next thing? Do, what does that mean? Do I go and get a job where I earn a couple hundred grand and that way I can live the life that I live? Which is what brought up the next thing for me. You know, would I necessarily want to be working? Now, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that likes a challenge, you know, and I think if I, you know, I spent six years not working, but, um, you know, and that was, uh, I guess that was fun, but I, I don't think I could do it for any certainly extended period of time. Um, so the next part was for me is I'd have to earn that money without me actually going to work. So it then came about, well, I'd need that, that kind of income to be passive. I'd need it to be conservative and I'd need it to be reliable, you know, depending on the different economic cycles. So it, it, it was a great piece of advice in terms that it was the question. It was the right kind of question. And it really got me starting to think about what is the life that I kind of want to live? What is it that I'd need to earn to live that kind of life? And what is it that I would need to do to be able to generate that kind of income without working. So like I said, you know, the piece of advice seems very, very simple, but you can certainly open it up. You can certainly open it up and you can certainly unfold the, the complexity of it. And I think there's, there's a huge amount to get from that. So, you know, that's the best piece of advice that I've ever been given. And it really kind of opened up the pathway and had me explore the kind of options to, to discover what I discover about, you know, paying yourself first, using a chain reaction, building a passive income stream, um, so that you can live the life that you really deserve. Um, but of course, that's my piece of advice, right? Now, the reason why I did this post is I wanted to hear from you guys. I wanted to hear what um, what is it that you've been taught? And this may have been from parents. I mean, many of us learn from money about parents. It may have been from other family members. It may have been from mentors that you've had in your career, and your work. It may have been from books that you've read or seminars or tapes or DVDs or webinars. But I'd really love to get a huge amount of comments uh, below um, uh, about uh, you know what the single best piece of advice. So I know Lana just asked, uh, she missed the tip. So the best piece of advice I'd been given, um, very simple, and that's what I was kind of unfolding. But you know, if you want to be wealthy, you've either got to uh, spend less. Uh, sorry, you've either got to um, spend, uh, spend less than you earn, or make more than you spend. Um, so you know, maybe go back, have a listen to the video, and see what the complexity of what I unfolded and where that uh, that really kind of shaped where I am now. But like I said, guys, I really want to hear your feedback, um, hear what your best piece of advice are. Let's see if we can get a whole bunch of comments and, and, and kind of learn from the community. I uh, look forward to hearing people's um, uh, piece of money advice. And uh, you know, please share, please keep on giving us feedback. Uh, please like, love, angry. We want all the feedback that we can and, uh, and I hope this has been valuable for you. And please enjoy the night and enjoy the rest of the week. I'll come back later in the week and maybe share some of the points that I thought were brilliant. Okay, so um, that'd be great. Good on you guys. Uh, have a great week. Speak to you soon. See ya.